In this episode, we are going to continue working on what I'm calling the Poztong problems. We are going to be taking the techniques that we learned in the Poztong video that I shared, the one that was based off of the John Switzer one, the Black Bear Forge one, and we are going to be making some slight changes to that process, and I'm going to create these. Uh, we'll talk about these a bit later, um, but basically we did a bit of an offset thing, we did some changes to the way that I created the nibs and so on and so forth. And also at the end, I'll be having a bit of fun using a similar technique, all similar techniques in order to create these. Uh, they didn't come out perfect, um, but using that technique, this is definitely something that you can do at home also as well. Okay, trying something a bit different here. We're gonna do Smith and Strike most of these, I think, just for entertainment value. Um, if you wanna see how to do this, check out my video or John Switzer's video over at Black Bear Forge. Yup. So I'm just going to put these fullers in again. This might not be the best way to do it, but it's entertaining, isn't it? So we're going to put these fullers in again. Yep. And I'm not going to go as deep on this fuller, on this back one, because we had some problems before. Yep. 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 Okay, in the previous video where I made the pos tongs, I didn't have, I don't think I did this in the right order quite. And I also think, because I haven't done this, I've done this in a slightly different order this time as well, that I've got a similar problem that I had last time. But it's not a big deal. Um, also, I haven't got any gas left, so until I get some gas tomorrow, um, I'm not going to be able to do that with the gas, so I'm going to do the quenching method to do this. Okay, so what I've done now, I'll quench that end off again. So basically, I can upset that corner right in and make it look nice and tidy, he says. So I need to also. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all straightened up and tidied up again, but that's much better than it was. Okay, I've just straightened that up. I don't know if it's going to hold. Yeah, it will hold now. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm just going to pull that now so it's basically in line with the... Uh, in line with the, the... The back of the rain is parallel to the... Just use those forks just to get that looking tidy. There we go, I'm quite happy with that. It looks pretty good. That does looks better than the other ones at least anyway. Much happier with these, slightly different to the pos tongs, slightly different construction from last time. However, uh, these reins are very tight together, which is one of the things that I wanted. And also, um, these nibs are gonna be a lot easier to get into shape and looking right and nice and tidy. So the next thing I would like to do before I move on is I'm gonna match these up so they're exactly the same shape, everything's in the right place. And I'm gonna joggle up the nib end, so basically 
lay these on, put this under the fly press, this tool, and just do an offset with the uh, with this tool in here. And if it works and I'm happy with it, what I will then end up doing is making a tool that does the offset on the back of the rein. However, for the next couple of sets of these, I'm just going to do them by hand. But if, if I'm happy with them, they're good enough to sell, we'll make some more tooling for that. Okay, so these came out okay. I'm not still not 100% okay with them. I'll explain why in a little bit. The next bit that you're about to see is the uh, creation of these things. Um, I used the same process or similar process. Didn't work quite how I thought it was going to, but I think I know how to fix that for next time. Um, but I've also had a bit of a play with some video editing. Uh, it's not gonna be for everyone. I completely understand that. Some feedback would be nice. Um, I will take constructive criticism. This isn't constructive criticism. I do not like the music because that's your opinion. Um, cause I liked the music, <laughs> but maybe the video editing was crap. So, you know, um, but if you're not interested in that, there'll be a timestamp just down here, hopefully for you to jump onto the next bit. Um, but there is a video of me making these if you're interested. So enjoy that next bit and I'll speak to you in just a minute. Oh, I'll be announcing the winner of the tongs as well. Okay, so um, I picked the winner the other day. I'm keeping that bit of video in. It's to win these tongs that I spoke about in a previous video. In order to do that, you had to leave some sort of funny innuendo comment based off one of the stupid innuendo comments I made in that video because I was talking about things like grinding my nibs and stuff. 
<laughs> which is a little bit silly. Uh, but we didn't announce a winner, so I'll let that bit happen from the stuff from the other day, but I re-recorded some of this. Uh, so yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that, um, and it was a bit of fun. I have got a list of random names just here. I've got a blue pen, I wrote these in green. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna randomly move my arm around. Uh, I'm not gonna do it like that at all. I'm just gonna do it over here. I'm gonna move my arm around, I randomly close my eyes, and just randomly pick a name now. <sighs> I completely covered over and I can't see. <laughs> Greg, <laughs> Greg, uh, you have won the tongs. Uh, if I'd landed on two names, I would have, um, I would have, um, <laughs> I would have split the two tongs up. Um, but however, I'm not going to do that. I've picked Greg. <laughs> Congratulations, Greg. Uh, Greg Larkin, I think your name was. He's already been messaged. I've let him know that he is the winner. Hopefully, he does get in contact with me. These came out lovely. I'm really pleased with these. This will be an option that you can buy on the Etsy very soon, if not when this video goes out, within the next couple of days of this video coming out. There's some more stuff that needs to go up. I'm gonna sort those bits out tomorrow morning. Um, but there are lots of bits that are gonna go up, and these are gonna go up there. I have played with these a little bit already, and I really like them, um, and pleased with them. And the technique that I use is quite good. But I think there's a different option that we can take that involves these, which could be quite a nice little shifting gear for the channel and also uh, products that I can sell on the Etsy as well. Sorry to be a hard-nosed salesman here. Sales, salesman, okay. yeah. I'm still not happy with these. These are not okay. Um, I think, um, I, don't, I don't know if I've said this already or not, but I think I'm gonna send these to Crystal as a thank you for her patience. However, um, these aren't, my finest work, nor are these. And the issue that I've got is this split nib technique, but it might be inexperience, it might be my poor abilities and skills, but I don't like it, I think it's a bit thin, flimsy. Now I have got an idea for a variation on this, but because these are flat bar products essentially, I've got an idea for these that might work quite nicely. Laser cutting, doing a bit of forging, and making some tools that go under the fly press that do some of the setting up, the offsets and so on and so forth, might be quite a good way to make these. Potentially an option to run on the, uh, run on the Etsy. Um, let me know if you think that's a good idea because I could sell these as blanks, pre-formed blanks that you can buy and set up yourself and then set up as many pairs as you like for quite a reasonable price. I think I can, think I can get them in a reasonable steal as well. Um, but yeah, and again, same thing here. I think this could be something that you could get done in flat bar. However, making them out of flat bar, making them out of stock was relatively easy anyway. But you could get laser cut, do a little bit of forging on, you'd have to forge the points on, you'd have to punch the hole just for that sort of integrity level. You wouldn't have to punch the hole, but and uh, just draw these reins down to a nice little taper. But these are also something that could be potentially quite a nice little product that could run alongside on the Etsy from a laser cut. So that's something that I'm thinking about doing. But I do have a different idea here that can take the pos tong to the next gen, but we'll be covering that in the next episode. Okay, the next time we make tongs will be the part three of this, which should be early next week, I'm hoping, uh, where I'm gonna make like a pos tong plus it's a bit of a combination between a couple of other tongs. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I kind of hope that it's gonna give us a sort of middle of the road, all rounder, which I'm happy with, which I don't agree with, but I'm happy with, and also a sort of, um, some sort of entry level tong that's quite handy if you're, yeah. We'll see, see what happens, it should be fairly exciting. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Trust Me, I'm Blacksmith. I've really enjoyed making it. I'm, I love this process. I love this process. I know I moan and say, well, it's not very good, and I didn't do this very well, and that bit's not very good, and blah, blah, blah. But this is all about learning. It's all about progressing. It's all about building on one's skills and making yourself better. I'm really into that. Um, these didn't work so well, but, or I'm not so happy with those. However, I'm really pleased with these. They're quite an exciting little thing. Ouch. <laughs> you make yourself a little metal mustache. Um, these are great. I 
think these are going to be a really nice little thing really simple really good fun so outcome from this is i did a bit of video editing i did a really nice thing where i made these i'm quite pleased with these they might not be perfect yet i don't know but progression we're getting there we're building on stuff it's all looking good i am going to leave the video there thank you so much for joining me i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you are a subscriber why not ring that bell for notifications it tells you every time i make a video i try to make videos as often as possible I try to make at least a video a week. Uh, more often than not, that happens. Sometimes we get two or three. Sometimes I takes about 10 days to get a video. It just depends on the content, what's going on in the workshop and stuff like that. But if you are here for the ride and you are one of the 20,000 people that subscribe to this channel, thank you so much. You're all amazing. Um, yeah. I really appreciate it. If this is your first video, hello, welcome to the channel. If this is your 20th video or your 150th video, thank you so much for being here. You guys are, every single one of you is amazing. I really admire the support. And if you would like to support the channel in some other ways, there's a few ways you can do that. Like, subscribe, um, and do that good stuff. But you could drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of my mad music video style esque thing that I did. I think it's mental, but I really enjoyed doing it nonetheless. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well but also you could share this video with your friends and on other platforms if you are that sort of savvy kind of internet person letting people know that i am out there is a great way to help grow the channel but if you'd like to do more and support me in some other ways there's a few simple ways you could do that as well the first thing you could do is you could head over to my instagram now there's a link to that in the description there's a couple of links in the description so definitely worth checking those out but that link to my instagram will open a portal into a world of insanity uh, where I share stories and I put stuff that I enjoy making up on the grid that looks really cool. And also you can DM me and message me. It's probably the easiest way to get hold of me if you are trying to get hold of me. But you could also click on the link to the Etsy. The Etsy is a great way to support me directly here because I make things like this with these hands in this workshop that end up in your hands. So if you are interested in make, uh, getting hold of any of the stuff that we make here, um, that is a great way. And not only that, it really does help. It really does support me in what I am doing here. It might take a little bit of time for you to get it. You might end up getting a video made if I think the project is interesting, but I am very keen on making tools and I'm very keen on making tools that work and do the job. I'm going to leave the video there, but thank you so much for joining me. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave a link up here that YouTube thinks is best for you from the back letter log. This is a link to a video that was recently uploaded. This one down here is something that I've chosen. It's probably the last post on video and that there is the subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me. Goodbye. Bye bye.